Hey man, bad news. L lay it on me. What? Yeah, I know. I know. But now I'm a little scared to tell you my news. We got evicted. Wait. No, I have the forms in my hand right now. Wait. That was you? Ugh. What, what is all this? I tried to tell you we got evicted. Wait, you're serious? Yes. Oh my god, you were serious? Yeah, don't panic, man. Man, I have a great backup plan. You're gonna love it. You've got it. And the space isn't distorted. I already checked. Maybe? Maybe if you look inside, it'll change your mind. I highly doubt that. And you bought a piece of junk. Oh, don't say that. Just because it's a trailer doesn't mean it's lower class. I mean... Okay. You've got me on that one. But this is where we're going to be living until we get our old house back. Fine. I call Tom Hulk. Dang it. Ah! Uh. Man, do you kiss your mother with that mouth? No, but I kiss your mother with that mouth. What if I told you that our local McDonald's is hiring? Would that make you happier? No, it'd make me significantly less happy. Well, one of us has to take the job if we want to get our old house back. Why did I volunteer? Why did I volunteer? Oh, how was your day at McDonald's? Literally, the most incredible experience I've ever had the honor of having. Literally. Literally? Could you figuratively have the most incredible experience that you've ever had the honor of having? I was sort of being sarcastic. Well, it didn't work. So have you asked that girl out yet? Nope. Have you even talked to her? Nope. Make any sort of contact, direct or indirect, with her? Well, I talked to Allie, who talked to Danielle, who talked to Rachel, who talked to Mike, who talked to Daniel, who talked to Natalie. So, I kind of got a little indirect communication with her. Okay, you're right, I'm going nowhere. Anyways, you should try sleeping with your feet facing the cabinet tonight. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Oh, mother hey, hold you. Would you shut up? Would you watch your mouth? Touche. No. Stop. If you pull me up, I will kill you. I will not hesitate. We need to get your job. Do you want your old house back? No, I want to stay in this teeny tiny trailer forever. Well, I want to get out of here. I was sort of being sarcastic. Still didn't work. <clears throat> Fine, I'll go. But you need a job too. I need a job like I need a bullet in my head. That can be arranged. I think Home Depot is hiring. Great. Hey, let's work. Think about what you just asked me. <laughs> Sorry, manners. So I've decided you can either get a job or ask Natalie out. I don't do either. Well, you have to do one. Put my phone. Hello? Uh, hey Natalie, I was just wondering if maybe you wanted to go out sometime. No? Uh, you don't want me? Well fine, you're not that even good, you're not even that good looking either! So? We're going out this Friday! Awesome, high five! Woo! I'm so bored. Aren't you gonna ask me how it would work? Was it terrible? Good guess. Why isn't it Friday yet? Because it's Wednesday. Thanks for the enlightenment. You know what, man? Fine. You're bored? What is he doing? Ha! Heavy! Oh. Hey. What is that? 
Navy. We're on a budget. That was only a couple. A couple what? Hundred thousand million? Yeah, you know what? I paid a million bucks for a crappy TV and a copy of Harry and the Harrisons. So two hundred bucks? Yeah. How are you even gonna get to work? It's called a generator. It's called a shut your face. It's called a shut your face. It's called a why are you even doing this? I don't know. What is it yet? Well, I basically robbed a bargain man, so basically a bunch of crappy family movies and romantic comedies. Valentine's Day? Really? Sorry. Wait. What is this? Oh, I got us pizza. We're on a budget! Just come on, dude. You're starting to sound like my mom. Any for me? Sorry, last piece. Uh, <sighs> what happened? What's we'll the cast? I'm just the red box. Why would you do that? Did you want Canada and Holly No, no, I did not. Did you want seat up chucking? God, no. Did you want Boogie Night? No! I did, did you not want Friday want the 13th? Yes. You know what? Give me Friday the 13th. Please, give it to me. Where's my movie? Did you want Gone with the Wind? Uh, well, well, first I suggest a cannibal holocaust, and I don't want that because it's one of the most disturbing movies ever. And then I suggest a scene of Chucky, and I don't want that because if it's scary, it's just the first grade. Then I suggested Boogie Nights, and I don't want that because I don't want to see Mark Wahlberg make a naughty movie. Okay, then. So, my date with Natalie went weird. Yeah? Why? What happened? She was acting kind of weird. Hmm. Like what? Well, first we rode bikes to get to the movies to save gas money. And then, instead of going to the movies to get the actual popcorn, we brought our own popcorn so we could save more money. And then we went to McDonald's after the movie to save more money. And then we drove home on our bikes again to save money. I see where you went wrong there. I'm going to be straight up honest. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. So Why don't you just tell her the truth? You're homeless. Yeah. It's her. Um, alright. Sure. She's asking me what our second date would be. That is incredibly confusing. I know. So, um, why didn't you just tell her the truth? That you're homeless? I guess I'm just afraid she won't like me. Well, if she really likes you, then she'll still like you. Alright. Just tell her, I'm living in a trailer right now. I'm kind of in a bad financial situation. And when I get out of it, we can continue our thing. Should I tell her right now? Um, why don't you tell her in person? Alright. So, um, Natalie, can I tell you something that no one else knows? Sure! Um... I'm kind of homeless. Hmm? What? I'm living in a tiny bathroomless trailer. They have bathroomless trailers? I didn't know they made those. Well, the, the toilet's like this small, it doesn't even work. Oh. My dad's like a bajillionaire, he could help you buy a house. I couldn't ask you that though. I'm not, I'm not joking, like I told you before, he's like a bajillionaire, he wouldn't care. Are you sure? Yeah. Really? Positive. Uh, thank you so much. You're welcome. What? Guess what? You punched a red box and had to tell the doctors at the hospital that you punched a red box and now your gauze is starting to come off? No. Are you ever going to get over that? I'll never be over that. Well, guess what? Seriously. What? Well, Natalie said that her dad could get us our house. Really? Would I lie about something like this? Probably. Well, I'm not. 
So what are we gonna do with this place? This piece of junk. Well. Good. 